Hey there, this is Lana Comedian Medium. I am bringing you your Capricorn Aquarius cusp reading for August 2020. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or hypnosis. Please visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading. I'm 20, still 25% off, so it's pretty cheap. Uh, get a full half an hour. I'm, I'm always over a half an hour because I like to talk. Gift to gab, you know. Um, you can... Uh, on my website, on Chanisky.com, you can book a reading. You can look at my wisewomansage.com. Um, you can book on, look on my Facebook, look at some of my predictions that I'm making. I haven't been wrong too much. Um, one or two things. I mean, I'm not perfect, but they've been fairly small. So um, uh, you can look at my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want. Uh, announcement is that I have podcasts now outside of Chicago. It's 216 The Net, um, and it's called Metaphysical Meanderings. So with that said, you can visit that. I'm, I'm live, 9 o'clock a.m. Central. You can um, call in and try to get like a one question. I give you about 15 minutes where you can call in and ask me questions, and I will answer questions for you, only one for about 15 minutes every time and try to win me win a free you know win a single question from me um uh this next couple weeks I've got it planned I'm going to be interviewing different people and it's from everything it's ghosts it's it's bigfoot it's aliens it's it's mediumship it's um concentration will be on empaths because I am currently writing a book called the empathic murder so with that said, let's get on with this. I feel like there's changes for this sign. There's ch decisions and ch yep, changes to be made. Um, by make, yeah, see, there's an edit. See, I'm right. Um, there's, yeah, you need to make your mind up about something. There's something that needs to happen for you. So let's look at this. This is a, this is one of my daughter's uh, signs. So let's see what we get here. So you'd started off, you know, you'd gotten a message of money. So there was something to do with money uh, in July coming into August. So, um, and it had had a new start about something. All right. So now, you know, you did made, had made decisions because you had taken, you had all the, the, the skills you needed and, but yet you were guarded. So there was some stuff that you've made and you weren't sure if you had gone the right direction. But they are telling you in this month of August, it was the right way you were supposed to go. Look at, that's the Maypole card. It's It means that, yeah, there's victory. Yeah, there's success. You're going the right direction, literally. Okay? So now, so currently something that's in August has ended and another thing is beginning. Okay? But in a positive way. Don't expect now, though. It not to be hard work. So, you know, this is an air card. So you're looking at <sighs> hmm. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be you. It's it's you know, when I think see this card, I think of a person that's known that's sturdy, that's known pain, but has worked through it, has strived. I like my air people. I understand you because there's been, you know, you've had to put up with a lot of crap. I mean, and, and you've made it through. And that's what this card is. Now, if this card were upside down, it'd be, you know what it really means? It means somebody's a real bitch. <laughs> but anyway, um, no, but this is upright. And you are, you've been a good person. You've come through this. It's kind of like what I have been saying this whole time about getting your karma. I have been saying it all year. You're going to get your karma this year. Now, if you've been a good person, you've done what you're supposed to, you've been as honest as you can be, but been kind as you can be, you will get good, positive karma. If you've done some crappy, crappy stuff to people, you're going to get your karma. It's the year of karma. It's a four. Karmically num and numerology speaking, four is karmic. So 
you know, but it looks like you're on your way to victory. Now, for some of you guys, you're not deciding on something. You're sitting on something, and I'm not quite sure what that is. You can't decide to follow your head or your heart, and you've got two cards like this. See, look, at this is the overall card. It means you're in limbo. It means you haven't really made a decision. You haven't done anything. You haven't really, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? You just, you're just in, you just don't know what to do with yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? And, it, and they, these cards kind of go together, okay? So, you know, I find it interesting that there's a queen of wands sitting here. Now, the queen of wands is the queen of everything. It can also be your ultimate female relationship. So, it can be also a male relationship because, you know, the queen, it could be a man that's a very, very gentle um, soul who would be a good father. So it can just not, not necessarily be a woman. But this card is usually a fire sign. It's it's the, the Aries, the Leo, the Sag. So there could be somebody involved in that too. Now, it's possible that someone's in a, in a, in a true love triangle. Okay, I, I, when I see this card, I see a love triangle. But I also see this could be joy. You could be having a get-together of some sort. Um, joyous, you know, um, it, you're just happy. Maybe you're going back to your job and you're just happy. You know, I know that somebody's going to be helping you or you are helping somebody. Somebody's going to be aiding you throughout this. So, so maybe somebody handed you a job. Maybe somebody, you know... This could be anything, but someone's helping you out. But yet you're still sitting. You know, your overall theme is you're still in a waiting mode. And it could be self-imposed. This could be you just going, oh, I don't know what I want to do. I just, and so you just sit. You know, it's a little, the card's a little bit of a, of a depressive card in a way. It's kind of like because things are in limbo. Things aren't going as fast as you would want. But at the same point, you're victorious. So are you in the process of making your changes? I know that there's changes and decisions to be made. I feel that this month for you. Uh, you are on your way to victory about it, though. Um, maybe you have to make a last-minute decision. Maybe you have to clear some people out of your out of your circle. That's one of the ones I just picked up. Um, you know, I put it this way, because I'm, I'm going through this myself right now, where I'm getting rid of people. If you can't make me, help me be a better person or make me feel good about myself without cutting on me or just, you know, us as empaths, we have a tendency to go back for more. <laughs> I'm, I'm healing from all that. I'm learning from all that. And I feel like it's maybe the same with you. Do you need to cut some people out of your life that just aren't feeding you the way you need to be fed? You know, um, we're not, we're becoming more spiritual, guys. That's what part of this COVID thing is about. One, we're realizing that we are, we are very human, <laughs> that we are products and victims to the physical plane of earth. But also that we are spiritual beings with much more to offer. So, you know, you waited this out. This has been a waiting game for you, you know, coming into August. So some of you guys are going back to work or <sighs> crown chakra. It will use your intuition. That's an intuition card. Um, see, so look at, and with the third eye chakra, you get your crown and you, so you get your crown and your third eye. Um, this is time for creativity. This is time for thinking things through making decisions. Here we go again. Okay. You know, you've been trapped. You, you, and when you're trapped, look at trapped in fear, but when you're trapped in fear, it's in your own head. I want you to know that, that there's simple solutions to everything. Meditate, sit back, think what, how, what can you do differently? How can you do it differently? Maybe you can do it differently. What, what can you do to move forward in your life? Okay. Now, they're, they're urging you to use your heart. Look at all the chakra cards we got. The heart chakra is, you know, love. It, 
I really want to say there are people out there that need to cut people out of their life. And I know that sounds mean, but when they can't feed you the right way and they are totally weighing you down through their own issues, like it's one-sided. Like, you know how relationships are sometimes one-sided? You know, like they only call you when they want to, they, they've got a problem. And when you've got a problem, they don't want to hear you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like those kind of people. Yeah, cut them, you know, ghost them, you know. Partnerships and alliances. You have a partnership here coming in. And I want to say that this could be, this, like, this could be the love of your life. This is, this card, the woman of your dreams, the man of your dreams. So maybe there's a person coming in. Maybe it's just your best friend. Maybe it's a soulmate. Maybe it's somebody that just helps you see it differently, you know. It, but I do feel like there's decisions to be made in this month. In a pot, to keep things positive, to keep things the way you need it to be. And you are going to be victorious with it, okay? Um, I feel like a couple people may end up with a job offer. Like at the last minute, you may end up with something different like than you thought, but it'll be better for you, okay? This is Lana, the comedian medium. Um, I'm actually the mentoring medium at this point because I'm mentoring so many people. Uh, blessings to all of you. I will be coming back with your readings really soon here and uh, hope everybody stays well, safe, and I will see you next week.